you mentioned uh, her communism. She, in fact, does not mention it in the memoir. And, uh, and, and she, there's a lot of things she doesn't mention in the memoir that would be of great interest. But can you speak to the, the lack of communism in, in the book? Well, I think it, it, you have to start by recognizing that um, University of Regina Press is certainly not the first press to be considering this book for publication. Mm -hmm. It is to be highly praised for taking this book and publishing it at last. But I think that given her experience um, in the in the context of the un-American activities, hearings and the McCarthy. What, whatever, all of the process Trots. that drew, drove her out of, of uh, Seattle. Um, she learned a lesson there. She learned the lesson that um, any sniff of communism or to some degree even socialism um, is a really difficult topic in the United States. I would argue it remains that way. And laboring on the subject of communism was not the way to get it published. Not then, um, <clears throat> and certainly not in the period right after the Un-American Affairs events. So I feel, I think she, she downplayed um, the sympathy that she and her company had with, with communism as a philosophy, certainly socialism as a philosophy. And so I think when she was writing this memoir, she wanted very much for it to be published. It wasn't just an idle, an old woman's attempt to reconcile her past, not in any respect no. whatsoever. And that ultimately, before she died, the responsibility was in her corner. And so she was going to make an effort with that. And she was going to make an effort not just in writing it down, but trying her very best to get it published. Florence spends a fair bit of time in her memoir focusing on Jimmy Cagney because he's also a very interesting example of how in the process of teaching the student gives back as much as the student gets in some cases. So they, she, she cites examples of the way in which Cagney was actually helpful to them. Um, and so it it's more including, of a reciprocal. Including protecting which, the theater from, yes, a, from a group exactly. of thugs. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> he gathered together neighborhood boys and took them on. Yeah, <laughs> if whatever it took. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> and, that, and that's very much the world of theater that Florence came from, which is a different world from the world today. Um, and so we, I think with the book, um, Rita Deverell's after afterward is is really a, a nice touch because although in, in my introduction I talk a bit about those years just from a, a largely factual perspective, Rita can talk about it from the perspective of somebody who overlapped with her uh, with Florence uh, in the involvement with the Globe Theater just a little bit, really. Mm -hmm. She didn't know who she was at that time. She didn't know how important she was when they made initial contact, except that she was a, 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 a difficult old lady who sat at the back and kept saying, speak up. Um, and, you know, that, that, um, that, that impact at, towards the very end of her life and the impact that it's had on that particular individual is just an example mm -hmm. uh, of how it, how she's had an impact on others way beyond the realm of theater. Mm -hmm. I, I love the afterwards because she does tell us about Florence saying, speak up, speak up. And it seems to me that that is in fact a metaphor for her entire life. It is indeed, yeah, from the, from the beginnings. I mean, and, and she, she cites, uh, Florence cites her father as somebody who told her that she had to speak up for herself and be sure she she said what she thought. Um, and Florence went one step further by living what she thought. You know, she, she could have had probably a much more lucrative, she had so many skills, she could have had a much more lucrative career with a lot less heartbreak. But she chose consciously the, a principled life and career 
and that's that's to be admired. And the byline for that was to speak up. To speak up. If you feel there are social points that are important, you need to speak up about them. Mary Blackstone, thank you very much for this. Thanks. Thanks for this opportunity. Mm -hmm.